What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mike Shinnery. Um, just about set up here, but you know how I do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play one of my son's videos while we wait. Um, give some people a chance to come on in. You know, see if they want to join the conversation. I'm gonna talk about a few things tonight, and I think I'm a little bit more prepared than usual. You know, I usually kind of go all ADHD and I'll go move around topic to topic and, you know what I'm saying? And I forget what I meant to say. Sometimes, like, I look at my notes or, like, things that I wanted to say. I look at the page and I put my book away and I'll just start talking off the top of my head and then I'll just go completely off track, right? So, like, if I was a doctor and somebody described my behavior, I would say ADHD, ADD, whatever, right? So anyway, all right, with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and play this this video. This is a video my son made with his friends. Um, that's my son in the red the red sweater there. He made this. Uh, he's on the song, but this is not his video. This is his friend's video, Just Joe, um, the the big black dude that's in the in the video. That's his. It's his video, and my son's featured on it. So, all right. That's enough of me yapping, right? Let's go ahead and play the video so we can get to today's topics. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and make this big first. Boom. Play the music. And mute myself. Hey, I know you guys like that. I know you guys are feeling that. All right, you know, in fact, I'm gonna run that back one more time because my little man is a lyricist. Oh, where's he at? Where's he at? Right. I think he comes in right around here. So right at the end of Dev's. Okay, so this is Dev right here. I'm going to bring you guys in right here. Um, the kid that goes up after him, that's my son. Listen to listen to this boy spit. I'm telling you, man, you guys, you guys don't know what you're missing out on. Watch my little man come in. Comes in hot. That boy is hot. Here we go. I, I, I fuck her at night, she left in the morning. Says in my phone saying we going up. I got some cash in my pants like a lung. On the beat, did the dash, had to run. Got some cookies burning up in the blunt. Shorty talk dirty all up in my phone. I won't hit it back until I get home. Hold on, shorty, don't leave me alone. She know like a king when I sit on my throne. You're talking to me, better check on your tone. I'm with my guys, in my mess up nose. I know you don't want that because you a little hoe. Don't start World War three because I'm finna blow. Then bad shit to pay for the tag in your toe. I don't want to do it, so leave me alone. Niggas hate knocking shits on my own. I run up a check to Japan and I'm gone. Going back home. That's a dream with a team we're gonna chase like some dogs in a bone. I went up a switch with my guys and I ain't finna sell my soul. No, anyone in my way gonna hell with you well. You got a one way flight to go. I'm a slime, stupid. Clutching the Glock, shoot it. My niggas is slime, ruthless. Put two in your chest, stupid. Pour up that walk. 
Slide down your block. He say I'm cap. Cap. It ain't no cap. Prove it. All right, all right, all right. That's my little man right there. You heard that flow? You heard him spit? Yeah, man. Hey, Wadner, man, he's on it. He, like I said, he does all his own engineering, his lyrics, uh, everything, man, from from ideas to paper to to, uh, to 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 the music. You know what I'm saying? He does everything: the beats, the piano, the guitars. You know what I'm saying? He he does all of it. He does all his own production. He makes his own cover art. You know what I'm saying? And he's all over the on all the streaming stuff, man. You guys go check him out. It's my little man, Shy Zay, S H I Z A Y. All right, so let me get this off the screen. All right, so yeah, Dorian said you got to play Manosphere number one single, Pump and Dump, and next. What is who? Who does next? Oh, play it next. You mean? All right, I'll I'll I'll, I'll fit I'll fit it in here. I think that's gonna go with with part of uh what I want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm gonna squeeze that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get pump and dump in here. All right. But yeah, as you guys heard my my son's lyrics, man. That boy's red pill to the T. You know, um, <laughs> you you can hear it in his lyrics you know what i'm saying and i don't i don't teach him like this is red pill this is not no i just raised him that way all right i just raised him um and, and showed him what to look for and what what to watch it watch out for you know not to let people treat him a certain way and whatnot um and he just picked it up you know he went along with with how how i live but all right hold on hold on let me take off my clark kent right here y'all can get a little bit of the superman all right Y'all didn't know Superman was black, huh? See? Fly so fast, he look white when he fly. Fly faster than the speed of color. <laughs> All right. So what do we talk about today, guys? The cost of freedom. All right. We're going to do our due diligence. Find out what is the cost of freedom, guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, what, what's up? what else I got in there? I got, I got dream rich, think poor. All right. I'm gonna break that down a little bit. Just, just ideas, man. Just ideas. Something that I want you guys to think about in your daily lives. You know what I'm saying? When you're going out there into the world, you know what I'm saying? You're sweating, you're hustling, whatever you're doing. Right? You guys gotta keep that reminders, right? Um, it's easy, it's easy to get motivated because you hear somebody say something or you see something happen and you get motivated, but then the cost of freedom is the discipline. To keep going, to make it a habit, so that when you're not motivated, when you wake up and you hear the alarm clock and you're like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna sleep five more minutes, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You need the discipline to be able to get up and keep going to make stuff happen, right? Because freedom, even though we born in America, freedom ain't free. Okay, so you guys hear me talking about money and stuff all the time, right? And when I'm talking about money. I'm not talking about just having cash and stacks and, you know, stack phones. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about all that. Okay. When I'm talking about money, I'm talking about having money to be able to wake up and say, what do I want to do today? That's freedom. You know what I'm saying? When you can wake up and do what you want, where you want, when you want, how you want, with whom you want. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. When you hear me say money. I want you to just, you know what I'm saying, cross out the money and ent enter freedom in your mind. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So what is the cost of freedom? Discipline. All right. Balls. You got to have nuts. Like I said last night, you got to have the nuts to go chase your dreams. Okay. That's why the second part of the title it says dream rich, think poor. Everybody knows what they would do, what they would go buy, where they would go if they won the lottery. Right. Meanwhile, that instead of, you know, the people that ain't waiting for the lottery, that they're actually just going out in life and making things happen. Right. They're doing the opposite. Right. They're thinking rich, dreaming poor. OK. 
they're like, how can I get by spending as little as possible mean so that I can invest as much as possible into what I want, into making my dreams come true, right? So they're, they're, they're thinking like, okay, do I need this? No, I don't need, I don't need the TV, right? I, I don't need the social media. Okay, I, I, I don't need I don't need the, the fancy things to impress other people. All right. Th- that's what they're thinking. Like the difference between the guys that buy Jordans so they can say they got the Jordans and the guys who buy the Jordans so that they can sell them in the future. All right? They can flip it, make some money off of it. All right. See, there's a difference in those two mentalities. You know, I'm not saying Jordans are bad. I'm not one of those people. Jordans, Jordans can be used. For, for good, right? That can be part of your business model. People who flip things, right? You got to have the discipline not to wear all the Jordans you got all the time. So that way you don't scuff them up, mess them up, and you can't sell them later. Okay? That's discipline, right? You got to have the balls, man, to invest. Take some of your money, buy something that you can sell later or, or buy a service buy a course that can teach you how to do something so you can make some real money. Then you can turn around and invest that money you make and buy income. You know what I'm saying? Buy buy some dividends. All right. You got to have the discipline, you know, for all of us that work a nine to five, you know what I'm saying? To, to turn around and, and go start your five to nine. I hate to hear people say they too tired to get their own business or or to to do their own thing on the side all right you can work 40 hours a week for somebody else's dream but you can't work a little bit every day on your dream you can't do something for yourself on the side you know what i'm saying like this is this is what i told you man we got to get some discipline up in here you guys want to see something funny I'm going to show you guys something funny. Let me add this back. Okay. What I'm going to do, now look, you see the, the page? Oh, oh, wait. Can you see? No, you can't see. Let me make this big. Hold on. Watch this, man. This is crazy. I talked about this a couple days ago, right? I told you, every time I get online and I want some entertainment while I'm studying or looking at my stuff, what am I looking for? I need to shrink this down. Default. All right. I want it so you guys can see. Why is it only showing this? Hold on, hold on. Why is it only showing that? This is weird. I want you guys to be able to see. All right, well, anyway. Oh, I can do it right here. Cool. I'm going to go up here. Yeah, okay, you guys can see that. Cool. All right. If I go over here, I'm just going to go click on home, right? Let's see what's happening on Mike's YouTube homepage. What comes on when I go to my page? All right, we got Ty City. He's going to be coming on tonight. What else we got? We got stock investments, um, music mix from Vivo. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, you called it, bro. Look at it, brother Ramil here. Let me see. Uh, all right, I'm going to save this page. But then when we scroll down, I got another one of my boys right here. Okay, I told you guys about Gerald Peters. That's investment and real estate information, man. If y'all, y'all want that discipline, go check this guy out. But then look, what the hell? Why is it every single day on my homepage, somebody's talking about this person right here? Nobody wants her, but she always on my page. Nobody trying to get with her, supposedly, but somebody always talking about her. People ain't focused. I hope, okay, I hope that the reason she's on, that she shows up on my page is because y'all are making money off of her, okay? I don't have enough time to go by and check out every damn page that's talking about this 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 lady, right? I say lady because she's, she's getting up there in age, all right? But... Every single day I go on here and somebody in the manosphere is talking about this lady. Why? 
You know what I'm saying? I, I hope, I hope you guys are making some money off of her. All right. But I gotta, I gotta think to myself, you can't be making that much off of her. There's a lot, a lot of other people you could be talking about than, than that, man. That's years old already. That's a wash, man. Go find somebody else, younger, hotter, sexier. Where's Game Changer at? All right. <laughs> Younger, socks, younger, sexy, hotter, hotter, sexy. Fuck, you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, this is every single day, man. If I scroll down, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it she'll, she'll show up on, on the page. Like, there's no reason. Somebody always talking about her. Damn. All right. Well, we out of there. So, all right. But what do we got right here? Ramil Amir. Okay, perfect example. When I say um, do the opposite of dream rich, think poor, he's doing the opposite, right? He's trying to teach the opposite of that statement, okay? Dream rich, think poor. That's how we are taught, how we are raised in America um, to go bust our ass for somebody else and we're going to make enough money to get what we want. If I go work at McDonald's and I work my my way up to to assistant manager and then manager, then district manager, right? Then 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 I'm gonna be all right in life and my life's gonna be good. Right, right. Now, when you do the opposite, though, look at Ramil. He out there buying houses. He's finding deals, okay, and teaching people. Right. Made his own video. Hey, um, shout out to Edward Anderson. He gave me a shout out today. Um, you know, prop up my page and whatnot. So I, you know, respect to that brother. If you guys need to know anything about the manosphere, Edward Anderson can tell you all about it. He's got all the knowledge locked in. All right. So if you guys want to know anything about the black manosphere, go talk to Edward Anderson. Um, and he will fill you in. Okay. You know, those guys that are new to the manosphere, go talk to Edward Anderson. All right. That's your guy. Okay. Um, and he's accessible. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he goes live just about every day, if not every other day at least, um, and, and he'll fill you in. If you got questions, he'll let you go up and talk. You know, show respect, you get respect. All right, so that's him. Ramil Amir, you know what I'm saying? Look, he's making videos. He makes other videos. He's doing multiple things to make his dreams come true. He don't have a boss. He ain't got to go answer to nobody. All right? Okay? He's got that freedom. And he's working on it constantly. That's the cost of freedom. You want it, you got to go get it. You got to earn it. What's up, Shaka Nulu? What's up, brother? Hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? This is this is what it's going to take, man. The cost of freedom. Just because you born in America don't mean you free. As soon as you born, the very first thing they do is they make your parents fill out that social security information. You know? <laughs> they bring they bring the birth certificate and right next to the birth certificate where, where you can write your name they have the social security thing right there and if you look at the social security card okay your number your name is capitalized all the way through every letter is capital the only time you see that on any type of government paperwork is on business paperwork the only time a title is capitalized if it's a business Social security card, social security information, your name is capitalized. That's, there's a reason for that. Because you, as an American, are a guarantee of 40 years of tax pay. Okay? That's why they teach you to go out and be a laborer, right? To go work, okay? Get enough skills so that you know how to do something. They don't teach you how to get your own business. They don't teach you how to get rich. They don't teach you what wealthy people are doing. Okay? They teach they teach us in school how to make a little bit of money, but just enough to get by. Right? But in, with inflation, and, you know, the prices, the cost of living going up every year, we don't get raises like that every year, right? You get a 25 cent raise, but the cost of a Big Mac goes up by 75 cents. So if a Big Mac's price is going up, what else is going up? You guys go ask your parents how much it used to cost when you were when you were younger. 
Ask them how much toilet paper used to cost. All right. You know what I'm saying? The cost of living is going up, but the amount that's getting paid out is not the same. Now, if you own your own business, right, there's no limit to how much you make. But what does it take to own your own business? You got to learn a skill. Learn how to do something, right? The first part, what they teach you in school, the reading, the writing, the math, right? You got to learn something, get good at doing something, and then you have to monetize it. Make it your own, okay? It don't matter what it is, man. If you have a hobby, a habit, something you like to do, whatever you do after work, there's a way to monetize that. I'm still free as a journeyman, wireman, my G. Shaka, as long as, as we have to answer to somebody, bro, we ain't free, man. I respect, you know what I'm saying? You do have a skill, bro. I Hey, I was a plumber. You know what I'm saying? I, you have a trade, okay? But we can't stop there. Open up a school. Start teaching the younger generation, the people in the neighborhoods, Right? For a small fee, of course, start teaching the skills that you have, bro. Get a business of your own. Because what happens if the, the companies, I don't know if you're a part of a union or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But we seen with, with what happened with COVID and stuff like that. Some people did just fine. And I hope you did great, right? I'm, I'm going to take it that you did because I, I, seen you, I see you in these YouTube streets. We always interact, right? So I know you did all right. You know, you got a phone. You got YouTube. We all got the ability to get on here and interact with each other, right? But if we, everybody who owns a smartphone has the ability to make money. If you can afford monthly payments on your phone, you can afford to create a course, right? A Gumroad course, something you put up there and each time somebody buys it, you know what I'm saying? You, you get the money for it. Gumroad takes a small fee. Okay, you can go on and do advertisements for other companies as a side hustle with your smartphone that you're already paying for. But if you can afford a smartphone, you can afford. That means you have the time to do something for, for yourself and build up your own thing. Affiliate marketing. That's one of my side hustles. Right. I advertise for other people's uh, businesses and courses. All right. You know, and now with, with my videos and stuff like that, I decided, you know what? <laughs> I'm not monetized, but if they put ads on my long ass videos that keep going over an hour, right? If they end up putting ads on it, but my son's videos are in the the, the thing and he's his stuff is copyrighted and, and he's got all that um the ASCAP and, and all that, right? He's got all the, the 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 music rights to his videos and his music. So if they put ads on my videos and those people who own the music have to get some of the kickback from the ads, well, why not it be my son? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Everybody could get paid off of Mike. Let's go. <laughs> who wants money? You got a business? Let me know, man. I'll throw you up in here. You know? But yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. The cost of freedom. If you answer to somebody every day, if somebody else controls how much money comes into your pockets, we ain't free. I ain't going to lie. Right now, I'm not free just yet. Oh, trust me. You guys will know. All right. It's coming. I'm not free just yet. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not up here trying to say, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you need to be like me. No, no, no. Don't be like me. Be like you. Find out what is in you that you can monetize and break the chain. You guys seen the thumbnail, right? Dude, snap the chains off, right? Get off the plantation. All right? He's going to walk off. Walk out the front doors like he's getting out of prison. You know what I'm saying? Walk out with his head high. Okay? That's what we all should be working for. 
You know, right now we are all stuck in this mindset of the people who raised us, who didn't know any better, that they were never taught any better. They didn't have all this internet and stuff where the information was just flowing at the speed of light. They didn't have all this information we have that they could break free. So what did they do? They took that, they took what they did know, right? If I work and I don't, and I, and I stay out of trouble, if I can stay here for 40, 50 years, I can work and get a retirement check. Meanwhile, I know people that are 30 years old, millionaires. Why? Because they figured out the cost of freedom, the discipline, right? They grabbed life by the balls and they went out and did what needed to be done. Okay. Now me, <laughs> the last time I grabbed life by the balls, <laughs> right? I, I, I kind of slipped up. Okay. I made a mistake that cost me my barber shop. All right. Just the contracts, man. Con Whew. I messed up. Okay. But not again. Lesson learned, right? No regrets. Okay. I did it. It happened. And I, I moved forward, right? But it's good. I, I didn't want to keep cutting hair anyway. My body's getting old. I can't be standing for that long. All right. So I figured out other things to do. So now I got multiple things going on, but I'm building and I'm building and I'm and I'm uh I'm consolidating all my extra curricular activities into just a few businesses. All right. So I'm gonna still be cutting hair here and there, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm still gonna do that, but um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably put the, the computer repair stuff on the side. Um, maybe just do that for the people that I'm close with. Um, you know, people that, you know, I've, I've been doing their, their, their thing regularly, right? I'm not going to advertise no more new, new, new customers on the computer repair stuff. Okay. I, I'm going to focus more on, um, making content, like some courses and stuff like that, that I can sell and, um, and advertising that use the social media for what it's for, right? Cause everybody can make money out here. I don't know if you guys know, man, you can get on Instagram and advertise. You can pay to advertise. You can pay some influencers to um, get your, your stuff out there. You know what I'm saying? This guy right here, I I bought this shirt, okay? Where am I? Where's the camera at? What the hell? Oh, why am I moving over? Okay. You see that? Y'all can read that, right? Everybody can read that, <laughs> okay? A comedian made this shirt. You know what I'm saying? I went to a comedy show and the dude uh, was selling these shirts and I saw it. I was like, I got to get that, you know, because you don't got to be no genius to, to do, do great in life, to get where you want to be. All the wealthy people we know, they're not geniuses, okay? Majority of the, the wealthy people, right, they hire people smarter than them. That's common sense. I want to get this done. I don't know exactly how to do this. So let me hire somebody to do this part of my business. Right? The guys at Raytheon, they don't know every single piece of the missiles and rockets and stuff that they make. Right? So they hire engineers, electrical engineers. Right? Um, the, 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 the radio guys, the guys that, that do the signaling and stuff like that. The guys who do the fuel for the rockets and stuff, it's all different engineers, right? So the, the one rate, the, the guys at the top of Raytheon, the vice presidents and the presidents and, and the, the chief finance, they don't know everything about the rocket, right? But they got people working for them that know everything about the rocket or everything about their part of the rocket, the navigation system, the fuel system, right? The explosives, okay? All right? But the guy at the top, he's getting a bank every time he gets that Navy contract and that U.S. Gov contract and that Russian contract and that Turkey contract and that Israel contract and that German contract, right? Okay, he don't got to know every single thing about the, the missile or the rocket. And that's why at Raytheon, they, they do training for their engineers, okay? They train their engineers to learn how to talk to people, how to interact with people. Because these are these smart brainiac dudes, right? That they're not very good with people. So Raytheon has a program. They train their engineers to make sure that the engineer 
can be in on the sales meeting so that the engineer, the guy who builds the rockets, the guy who's in charge of all that, that guy can go in and explain what's happening with this rocket. Why do you want my rocket opposed to the other guy? Right? You want this rocket. You don't want that rocket over there. You want this rocket. Wait, let me get this off the screen, man. It's bugging me out. Still got that. Mm, she's still on my screen. Why the hell is she on my screen? Get off. You out of there. In fact, let me just kill that whole. Oh, no, no. I got to leave it up because we're going to play Ramil's video in a set. All right. But anyway, okay. So the discipline, right, of building a business. Oh, wait, hold up. You guys talking about what is I missed something. I get it. But even a person who has his own business has someone to answer to, Uncle Sam, customers, etc. Shaka, think of it like this, bro. If you own your own business, you do answer to a customer, not a boss. That's two completely different things. All right. Everybody answers to Uncle Sam. But you want to know something? You as a lineman. You pay more to Uncle Sam than the billionaire Donald Trump. Okay? Everybody in America pays taxes. Everybody in the world pays some type of tax. Okay? But the people that own their own businesses pay less tax than the middle class people. The middle class is what's what's keeping the juice flowing in America. The billionaires and all that, they pay the middle class and then they get tax write-offs on everything they do. Every time Trump farts, he, he gets a tax write-off, okay? Every meal he has is a tax write-off. Where he lives, when he's not the president, he lives in Trump Tower, which is a business, okay? <laughs> he don't pay taxes on, he don't pay house tax. You know why? Because he lives in his penthouse at the top of his building. Okay, and underneath him are 30 or 40 floors of people renting office space from him. Okay, that's why Trump's taxes was like 700 something dollars. All right, so people have to get out of the mindset of like, like he was saying, everybody answers to somebody. If you live in America, you're going to answer to Uncle Sam no matter what. Okay, unless you're unless you're homeless and have no income, you're answering to Uncle Sam. And even then, Uncle Sam controls you because there's certain parts of the city you can't be. They'll come pick you up and they'll give you a home. You might not like the meals. You might be better off being homeless somewhere else rather than in this part of town. Because the meals in the prison and stuff like that might not be that great. There's homeless people that are eating better than some prisoners. All right. So that's just something I want you guys to think about that, man. Um, everybody's going to answer to Uncle Sam. But why not get the benefits of owning your own business? You can still work. Like I said, we all got nine. Uh, most of us have nine to fives. There's a lot of people that don't have a nine to five. A lot of people have their own business, right? If you if you own a trucking company, right? You, you, you just do scheduling for the people that rent the trucks from you or lease the trucks. You know, if you, if you own a, a technology company or something like that, you know, you pay one person to do the scheduling, you know, and then you pay the text to go out and do repairs or to keep uh, um, networks up and running or whatever, depending on what type of, of, of work, work you're doing in, in IT. So, I mean, there's all kinds of all kinds of businesses out there. You know, but the freedom, the freedom to wake up and decide what you want to do. Forever, forever, you know, like for instance, if I make it big with my courses, right? Um, like for instance, yeah, if I make it big with my courses, I don't, I don't want to use nobody else's name no more. You know what I'm saying? I was going to use somebody else as an example, but I'm not going to do that. So I make it big with my courses. I start selling enough to where, um, you know, I can build another uh, money-making entity, okay? Maybe I do a, a, a Discord with, with a membership, right? So that people can come in and ask me specific questions and all that, 
but I do it in a Discord behind a paywall, or I can do it on uh, what? What do you guys? Patreon, um, or whatever. I can build my own web page, right? And people can come and talk to me. But I could be on a beach in Cancun answering questions. I could go fly to Hawaii, go see my family, and be answering questions. You know what I'm saying? Interacting with people, right? I can do that from anywhere in the world because I own that. All right, that's that's what what I'm trying to get you guys to understand the freedom. Okay, yeah, it's great to make make a lot of money working for someone else, but you still work for someone else. That person is still in control of your life, of your income, when you eat, when you sleep. Okay, that's not freedom. That's just you got some money. But as long as somebody else controls that money, you know what I'm saying? Is you're not free. I worked um, for a friend of mine that owned the landscaping company. You know what I'm saying? He he called me and said, Mike, I need a foreman, man. And I went and worked for him. All right? But he wasn't running his business right. Hold on just a sec, man. It looks like I'm losing my signal. Why does it look like that? Okay, hold on, hold on. But yeah, so um, my buddy had a landscaping company, He's making millions of dollars, right? And and he screwed up and ran the company into the ground. You know, he's a good dude. He just he he overspent what he was bringing in. He was enjoying that freedom way too much. All right. Um, but yeah, hey, rest in peace, Rick. You know, so. Um, yeah, I want you guys to to think about that, man. Like the freedom, the the discipline it takes to get the freedom. All right. Just like if we go back, like everybody likes to talk about slavery and all that crap, right? Do you know what kind of discipline it took to walk off? You know, when they did when they did all that underground railroad and all that. Do you know what it really took? The risk they they put themselves at to get off of that to to, to get off the plantation and, and sneak out. And get up north and survive? How many people could hide behind a tree all day until they found the next stop? You know what I'm saying? The next safe house. Sit out in the bushes all day while it was hot as they moved up north. Or if it's raining and storming, the weather is just all jacked up. The discipline it took to get off that plantation. And now we're in a new plantation. It's up here. They trapped us up here since we were young. They said, what do you want to be when you grow up? Are you going to be a doctor? Are you going to be a lawyer? Right? They, they didn't say, are you going to be a doctor with your own clinic? They didn't say, do you want to have your own law firm? All right? Every judge we know works for the government. They work for someone else. They have somebody to answer to. We've seen videos of judges getting dragged out of court into jail. I know we. I know there's one video that's been going around that everybody was enjoying a little too much, but it is what it is, right? Judge getting dragged out of the out of the courthouse straight to jail. You know. But yeah, we, we, we're in a plantation up here. We got to get that crap out of our minds. Okay? I don't want to be 60 years old talking about, I got five more years. Five more years, I'm going to retire. And then what? Be old and crippled and just hurting? It hurts to get up and get out of the bed? We work all this time, all these years, we're going to work just for what, 10 years of freedom? That don't make no sense to me. You guys, let me know if I'm if I'm um if my Wi-Fi is going in and out or whatever. I mean, I can't tell, but my looks like um the signal is going is getting weak on me. All 
I might have to, yeah, I didn't run the cable where my router is at. I didn't run the cable into my room, and I might go ahead and do that. Or, or I'll just switch computers. I got a much better computer that I can use in there. Um, I'll probably switch the computers out. <clears throat> Down has a better Wi-Fi uh, antenna on it. But um, I appreciate that, bro. But yeah, man. So all right, what did I throw in here? So I said, um, where's my notes at? Okay. If you don't go after what you want, you ain't gonna get it. All right. That's that's the first thing, man. You know, we talked about this, you, you hear it all the time. If I can if I can be that little reminder, if you guys get so sick of me saying that, that it's just it's forever in your head, good. I want you guys to hear that every single day when you wake up. If you don't go after what you want, you ain't gonna get it. You can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. You got a 50 foot Ethernet cable. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I got I can get some from work. Um, I just like because it works. What I'm what I'm doing with my computer, it usually works and all that, but um I, I'm starting to get uppity about my videos. I want to make sure I got good signal. Um, I want the, the HD to come through in HD every time, you know, instead of waiting for forever for the SD. Uh the SD, you know how YouTube when when it, when you put a video up. It'll load up the SD real quick, and then it takes forever for the HD to load. So I don't know if that's if that's uh, Streamyard doing that, or if that's um, YouTube doing it, or if it's if it's because of the signal that I'm sending up. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna do something. I don't know. I, I don't want to get the other computer just yet because everything I have on this computer, I have this computer set up the way I want it and all that. If I if I get the other computer, then I'm gonna have to like build a whole new profile and ah you know what i'm saying i'd rather be like this man i can come here i can sit at my, my old ass computer and it does everything i want except for this camera it keeps going out of focus all right but yeah man um what else i said dream rich think poor all right that that's that's what we're doing that's what we're doing out there every day when people go to work and they talk about, yeah, man, I get to retire at 63. I'm going to retire at 65. Man, after I retire, what? You going to take a nap? You going to be an old ass man taking naps. What you going to do? Sit around playing spades with your boys? No, you'll be asleep at the table. You ain't going to be no 65, 66 year old dude, you know, sipping on some Ciroc in the club or, or, or going on no vacations. And stuff. Nah, man. You and me talking about what kind of rocking chair you want to buy. You know what I'm saying? Covering up the patio, you know, protecting yourself from the rain. And this is this is what I want for everybody to think about, man. Get that out of your head, that that think poor, right? We dream rich, but we think and poor. I, I want to flip that. Let's think rich. You know what I'm saying? Put away some of those extras that we're getting right now. Invest some money. OK. You know, learn about investments that will bring you back more money. Buy the real estate. Invest in stocks, you know, dividend paying stocks that pay you back money. You know, like I, I'll show you guys some. Not today. I'm not going to do it today because I've already been going for too long to, to bust out the stock market. All right. And tomorrow's Friday. I'm going to give you guys a break. Um, I highly suggest you guys down in the description of the video. I do have um, all my stock, uh, my stock affiliate stuff down there. Click on one of the courses, go get you a course, learn something about the stock market. Every one of those courses down there will lead you down a rabbit hole of making more money, using your money to make more money. All right. And then when you make more money, you know what I'm saying? You buy income, right? So, Say your investments start paying you well, you know what I'm saying? You might buy have a thousand shares of a stock and that and that thing goes up five or six dollars. That you just made five thousand dollars, right? You take that five thousand dollars and you go buy something, you know, that you can sell, buy products that you can resell, buy pallets, buy real estate, buy trailer, buy a used car. You know what I'm saying? If you got a car of a friend that's a mechanic, 
You know what I'm saying? You take your five thousand, you go buy a car, whatever. You fix it up, you sell it for six, seven thousand, whatever. You, Two thousand dollar come up. All right. I mean, you go to the auctions, buy some auction cars. You and your friend, your mechanic friend, you pay him to do some work on it or whatever, or, or somebody to paint it. All right. Put some some new brake pads on it. Oil change, resale. All right. It's the flip game, man. You know, and there's all kinds of things you can do, right? The wealthiest people or all the wealthy people, my bad, all all wealthy people invest in land or real estate and stocks. You will not find a wealthy person in America that does not invest in stocks and real estate. You won't do it. Even that pool noodle guy or, or whatever, you know, the guy the guy everybody loves to talk about and sold the pool noodles. Even that guy owns land, real estate, and some stocks. All right. Facebook, all of them. Amazon, all of them. Okay. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart owns property. Shit. Bill Gates owns all the corn farms in America or the majority. He owns more, more corn farms than anybody else in America. The computer guy, Bill Gates, Microsoft, he owns more corn farms than everybody else in America. Like I said, every wealthy person in America owns land or real estate and stocks. So why are we not thinking rich and following that plan? There must be something to it if all of them are doing it across the board. Ramil Amir, I'm about to play his video, right? But what does he teach? Flipping houses, real estate. Okay, I'm not making this shit up. I'm just putting the information out there. Like I said, I want you guys to get it in your mindset. We got to get off of this plantation, all right? Now, a lot of people have already done the, the, the SYSBM, black pill, that move, right? You got you you took one step off the plantation. All right. I, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear her no more. I ain't listening to her BS, right? So you took that step. But now you get you gotta get take take another step. Right? Now it's time to really get to work. You have a skill, you have abilities, you, you're making some money. Okay. You can do things with what you have right now to make more money. That you can use to buy assets that will make you more money. And that's how you build your freedom. Okay. You have active income right now that you can use to make passive income. Money that just keeps coming in. All right. Whether that's buying real estate that you rent out houses, apartments. I don't care if you buy trailer parks. Something that keeps money coming in that you don't have to be there working on it nonstop. You can wake up and be like, yep. Ah, let me call Susie at the management office and see if everybody paid their rent this month. All right. Then the only time you got to answer to anybody is when somebody calls and says, hey, the AC broke or, yeah, my husband put my head through the wall. And so now there's a big hole in the door and we need you to come fix it. All right. Something like that. All right, do you guys have Cox Cable? Get that gig Ethernet. It's dope. Yeah, man, I do. That, like I said, that's why I have a. I got the other computer is hooked up is hooked up uh, directly to the router. So the, my other computer, um, the one in the living room, um, we we stream movies and everything like that in there. And then my son's computer in his room um, is on a Wi-Fi. Uh, we that gig Ethernet is a beast, man. <laughs> it's nice, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm the furthest away from my router, you know. So so the Wi-Fi antenna I have in here, um, I bought that when I moved into this house, you know. And then the um, the one in the other computer connects via a card. It has a um, it connects into the the motherboard. On the, one of the the EX16 uh, plugs, so you know it, it 
this computer is too old to even deal with that other antenna. So I just went and bought, when I moved into this house, I went and bought this antenna. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with my signal in here. Uh, but yeah, Cox cable, man, you can't beat it. You know, I think, I think there's some that like satellite that's faster or something like that, but there's like a delay because of, um, the bump when you connect to your satellite company, then they got to shoot the signal up. You know what I'm saying? And so there's there is some delay, um, bad weather, stuff like that messes with it. So Cox Cable, as far as over here on the West Coast, yes, yeah, they have a lot of outages here and there. Um, but that's just because they're still using some of the old the old copper lines. Um, see right there, bro, Shaka, man. Hey, go get some contracts, bro. Call up Cox Cable and see if you can get on the contracts when they lay down some new lines or even that, that fiber optic cable, man. I don't know if you're for, if, if you know how to how to connect the fiber optic cable and stuff. You know it's easy. It's just a bunch of wires, man. A bunch of little wires that you just gotta connect. You know with each with each bundle. There's like a hundred hundred damn fiber optic wires in there. But man, go check that out, dude. Go get you some contracts. You know how to do the work, how to lay the lines, how to do the dig. Um, what is that called when you gotta go request to be able to dig? You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know how to do all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go lay some lines, man. Cox, think about it. The contract that Cox is going to come out, come up with pretty soon, every city in America, bro, is going to have to relay some of these copper lines, man. Shaka, that's right up your alley, bro. Go get your LLC, man. Set it up. Get those contracts. You know what I'm saying? Because what do you got to do? Just hire some people that you know can do the job. You can get that money. There's money everywhere, man. And this is for everybody. The minute you you open your eyes, you're looking at business opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Look at the wall, the paint on the wall, man. You can invest in that. DuPont paint, right? Whatever. You can invest in that. Okay? There's forever going to be paint for sale. Why not invest in things that are going to be for sale forever? Paint is always going to be available. And, and, and people are always going to want paint. Invest in paint companies. There's a stock. <laughs> There's a lot of stocks for paint companies. All right? Man, see, like I said, man, I, I could go on forever and ever about the stocks, bro. Because like I said, the minute you open your eyes, you're looking at money-making opportunities. All right? But, hey, with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and entertain you guys. Like I said, this is the Sigma, right? Anybody who's been paying attention, we talk about Sigma, okay? The Shinnery Infotainment Group, Mike and Associates, all right? Because I'm going to do my thing, and whoever comes along for the ride, you guys are my associates, right? Okay? So Sigma, you know? <laughs> not Alpha, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the leader of the pack. I'm Sigma. I can do it by myself. I welcome, you know, outsiders, but I can and will do it by myself if I have to. All right, so that's what a sigma is. I'm an alpha without without a group of followers. It works for me. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put on uh, uh on Ramil's video. I'm sure he won't be mad that I'm promoting. Oh, hold up, 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 hold up. All right, I know um he won't be mad. I'm not monetized, so you know what I'm saying it is what it is. Um, I hope if they do put ads on here, he can get a kickback out of that too. You know what I'm saying? He's out there spreading knowledge. We might, why not for all the free stuff that Ramil puts out, we give something back. All right. So I'll play his video. I have no issue doing that. So let's go here. Um, I'm going to make this bigger. Let's go theater mode. What? And... I'm going to mute myself, and then I'm going to press play. All right? So you guys hold out. This is the Pump and Dump video, the official music video of the Manosphere. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mute myself now. Here we go. Child support. Man, I ain't trying to hit nothing to me. I told you, child support. I paid child support every month. That what you wanted, that what you got. Child support. Hey man, if it's that bad, man, I told you, Walmart is always high. 
I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. Let's break the fuck up with that. Hey, yo, man, what you doing over there? Hey, you know me, man, just, you know, sitting on the couch. Well, you know, now I'm on the bench, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you ain't saying nothing for the word. I gotta go, bitch. Oh, shit. Hey, man. Shit, you know what I do for a living. I know, man. We're gonna pump it up today. Damn right. Goddamn the fuck this shit. Yeah. Mr. Paul. Yeah. Oh, dummy. Let's get it. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how the shit goes. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how that shit goes. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how the shit goes. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how that shit goes. Hit the bitch once, don't call her back. Hit the bitch once, now I'm falling back. She's going to my phone, I tell her I ain't home. I ain't trying to tell her that the hell was whack. Bitch get mad, I fuck around, get smacked. I ain't really trying to go through all that. You say you want the truth, but I know that's cat, bitch. I'm an OG, don't fall for the trap. Yeah. Talk me back and get dropped. Raise the voice, the bitch block. Think you the only baddie out here that shoot shots, bitch, stop. I ain't like these simp niggas that open doors and wanna hold your hand. I'ma be the side dude inside you, see you back to your man. Hoes say that I'm toxic. Nah, bitch, these niggas lost it. Lame niggas gassing up your head. I don't like pics, you get dick instead. Got hair while smoking on the end, though. Then put the bitch in the friend zone. So many hoes can't worry about one. So I pump a dump hoes, yeah, when a dumb hoes, yeah. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how the shit goes. Pump All right. <clears throat> I got to do a little bit of review, right? So that they don't kick kick me off my thing. Um, But yeah, hey, man, I like the scenery. You know what I'm saying? If the guys are out there talking about doing it. Put some videos up with some uh visuals right he was getting it in and then he got out all right pump and dump right that, 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 that's what it's about all right so i'm gonna go ahead and let it play now since so that way i didn't play the video straight through and they don't you know take my whole video down um but all right here we go let's let him let's oh let me mute myself and we're back Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how that shit goes. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how the shit goes. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how that shit goes. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. I don't give a fuck about man, bitch. These simps are the ones you can control. Sipping forces, sun husbands, blue pill, the sideline haters. You wanna talk, I'll see you later. I don't wear a case so I can't save ya or date ya. So what's going on? I'm coming to your home looking for some dome. You don't get down like that with the fuck you rat, then trip, bitch. I'm staying home. But here's the kicker, she wanna ask for dough like I'm one of them niggas. I ain't got shit. Walmart's always high and host. So you better find your ass some business. I ain't got time for that fuckery. I don't play games, I stay sucker free. I miss the palm, I better recognize me. I know you get down, you belong to the streets. Cause I play games, how to sell a bit. Saying your body count is irrelevant. Man, you were just an embarrassment. Another pump and dump, baby mama Terry. Pump and dump in these bitches. Pump and dump in these hoes. Pump and dump in these bitches. You know how the shit goes. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how that shit goes. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how the shit goes. Pump a dump in these bitches. Pump a dump in these hoes. Pump a dump in these bitches. You know how that shit goes.
All right. That's the pump and dump jam right there. That's the official pump and dump song for the Manosphere. All right. So <laughs> Ramil's that's him saying, look, this is what I'm talking about. I don't care what you guys are talking about. He's focused, right? He's playing, he is paying the cost of freedom. Okay, he's putting in that work. Why can't I get my this thing off my screen? Here we go. Boom. All right, there, I'm back. Okay. Cost of freedom. We got to put in the work. Okay. And he showed it right there. He's serious about what he's talking about. He has the time to go make a video with another YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Another YouTuber that's doing his thing. All right. So it don't matter what it is. Just you got to be disciplined to go in and uh, be consistent. Right. It's just like how when we're learning anything, you know, when you want to learn how to work on electrical, you got to uh, learn how to work on plumbing. If you want to learn how to um, learn on teaching, right? You have to learn it and you got to be disciplined and you got to be repetitive and consistent in your learning, right? That the, all these things are part of the cost of freedom, okay? And we've all been doing it all of our lives. You know what I'm saying? So from the minute we, we started learning how to walk, we busted our ass a couple times. We had to get back up and keep going, right? And as we get older, we just took on more and more challenges and we kept learning and getting better and better and better at things. All right. So now that we all are adults and we got jobs and we're making some money, we got money coming in. Right. There is another level to go just because you're making good money. What happens if that money flow stops? What are you doing? If in case that money flow comes to an end. All right. Because any of us can be in a car accident any day. Um, you know, a million different things can happen where our money flow changes. Okay, the way that we got money coming in changes. I remember when I was in my motor motorcycle accident, right? And I was cutting hair. I was in a motorcycle accident. And um, I took two days off of work. Broken, broken shoulder, you know what I'm saying? Um, skin rash all over, right? I was back working in two days, man. Crashed on a Wednesday. On Friday, I was working. You know why? Because I couldn't at the time afford to not be working, even though whether I own my own barber shop, right, um, or I'm renting a chair or whatever, yeah, I work for myself, but I couldn't afford to not be working. There were things at that time that I, I wasn't quite aware of how I could put my money to work. There are times in my life where I was making eight to ten thousand dollars a month, and I didn't put that money to work, right? So I came, I, you know, I came out of all my my um my money making years unscathed, right? I don't owe nobody nothing except for this house that I'm in right now is 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 my only debt. Okay, my car is paid off and all that. Okay, so I I just didn't know what to do when I was making money, okay? Because I was dreaming rich, but I was thinking poor, okay? So like I said, I'm not, I'm not blaming anybody for doing that, but what I'm saying is I have been there, I have done that, and I promise you, if you change the mentalities that we have just a little bit, okay? I've already seen the difference when you, when you swap that out. All right. Start thinking rich and dreaming poor. Put all the stuff you don't necessarily need. Put that shit aside. All right. Put your energy into um, getting the life that you want to have. Making the life you want to have. It ain't going to just come. We got to go and get it. All right. So th that's right here on my notes, man. Again, money this all this is not about the money. The money is a tool to get to the freedom. All right. When you have the freedom to wake up and say, This is what I want to do today. All right. That's what this is about. Not working and busting your ass and answering to somebody else's uh demands, right? Because you have to, because you can't afford to live the life you want without answering to somebody else. But if you own your own business and you build it up, it's not going to happen overnight. Okay. That don't happen for nobody. 
You know what I'm saying? It took many years for Trump to go from millionaire to billionaire. I don't care what nobody says. It took him many years to build that up. By the time we heard about him, he had already put in 30 years of work. That man is, what, 70 years old now? Okay? Everybody's acting like he became a millionaire during his the, the, the TV show. No. That dude was a millionaire when he was in the Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters videos. He was a billionaire already. When he was in Bobby Brown's video. All right? Everybody was showing him respect in the 80s and the 90s. Because he was that guy that became the billionaire. All right. He was the Clintons before the Clintons. Okay. <laughs> that was our guy. Okay. Uh, Trump was ours. Trump was our dude. All right. But that's what I want you guys to think about, man. Are you paying the cost of freedom? All right. Everything's happening. I don't know if you guys are into the crypto and stuff, but I just got um, the, the, the notification on my phone, Cardano's up 10% at $1.90. You know what I'm saying? So if you're into, if, if you're into crypto and you got some Cardano, congratulations. You know what I'm saying? Take some profit at some point. All right. But yo, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hop off of here. Um, I want to say thank you guys for coming through. Um, I think I talked about the main things I want to, I wanted to talk about hashtag do more watch for the t-shirts coming soon. Um, I had do more means, yeah, we're, we're all doing something. We're all making money. We're all bringing it in. Right. But are we where we want to be? If we're not, that means that we need to do more. All right. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay. You will not get what you want if you don't do what it takes to get there. Point blank period. All right. So, Hey, you guys take care of your health, take care of your wealth, um, take care of your energy, man, your mindset. You know what I'm saying? The garbage you take in, like like I said, I, there's that 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 damn that damn lady keeps showing up on every single time I open my YouTube uh, homepage. Somebody is talking about her. That means that they ain't focused, man. They talking about an old strag that they're not even interested in. They're more focused on how uh, on what's coming out of her mouth. They're more affected by the crap coming out of her mouth. She's a hypocrite. People are more affected mentally by what she is saying to them and what she is saying to people that they're not interested in. They're out of focus, man. All right. Keep your mindset right. Don't take in that garbage that, that doesn't, that doesn't really affect your life. Okay. What the strags are doing out in the street, that don't affect you. All right. You keep your children away from them. You teach your kids, stay away from that. That's about as, as, as far as it should be. Okay. Now I know, yeah, the people, the YouTubers, the entertainers, they're making money off of the videos. Cool. All right. I'm just tired of every time I open my home, my, my YouTube page, who's on the damn screen somewhere. I scroll down because I'm not interested in something. I'm not interested. And then boom, there, that's what the hell every single day. A few years ago, I had no idea who this person was. When I decided to start making videos and stuff, all of a sudden, every single day, I'm like, damn, out of focus, out of whack. All right. Well, yo, you guys take it easy. Again, uh, stay healthy, drink water, eat meat, eat vegetables, you know what I'm saying, and get focused. All right, we got to go out there. We got to go get it. It ain't going to happen if we don't do it. All right, nobody's coming to save you. Like all this shit, it sounds cliche, but it's so true. It's the truest words you ever hear. Every black man knows this. No one is coming to save you. Biden ain't going to do it. Trump didn't do it. Obama didn't do it. The Clintons ain't going to do it. The Bushes ain't going to do it. The next president ain't going to do it. His vice president ain't going to do it. All right, y'all caught that, right? I said his vice president ain't going to do it, right? The next president. <laughs> take from that what you will. Read between the lines. But anyway, hey, you guys take it easy, man. Have a good night. Thanks for coming through, guys. I'll, I'll see you guys out in these YouTube streets. All right, till the next one. Aloha.